good, isn't she? Oh, she's amazing. Pretty soon, everybody's gonna know. Thank you. Well, for making this album, it's really good to see Star so happy. Yeah, she deserves a little bit of happiness, don't you think? Yeah. Look, I, uh, I owe you an apology. I'm blaming you for causing that accident. He was wrong, and I know the truth now. You're innocent. We'll be able to present medical testimony to document that Kate suffered from DID, and hopefully the court will show some leniency. I don't like this. Kate, you know, confessing to a crime she didn't commit, if she doesn't remember, then maybe she didn't but do honey, it, right? Did it, Sonny. Well, she like, told it doesn't you. matter. The important thing is that we get Kate out from under the charges and show that she's not a threat to society. Heard you guys were here. Oh, okay. can't Sam yeah, surprise. What did Dad do this time? Nothing. I didn't do anything, Christina. <laughs> is that what your lawyer told you to say? Who knows? Maybe one day it will come true. Not now, Christina. Tell me, Mom, what's the going rate for uh, selling your soul to the mob these days? Christina, show your mom some respect. I would if she had any respect for herself. How do you do, Mom? Hmm? How do you wake up each morning and look yourself in the mirror and tell hey, yourself you're so what principled I... and ethical when you're literally helping Dad get away with murder get again? Get the cameras out! You're not doing this here. No, why not? We practically live at the courthouse. Because Dad's, said so. Dad's been charged That's with so many crimes, you've probably forgotten how much. Is that why? To me. Stop it. Christina. Christina. God, you this two is not you what have you have an think. amazing life. You're in your own magazine. How could you still defend my you father? the situation. How is it possible that two smart women sit and defend a man that's only brought them pain? And how do you qualify yourself to make that judgment when you have no idea what is going on? I know this much. My father hurts everyone he supposedly cares about. Most of all, his kids. So if we bring the base up with the bridge, then it'll work into... Come. Um, Star was convinced that my dad is the reason her boyfriend and her little girl died. And I knew you set up. And considering how much you hate him, you were the obvious choice. It's no secret that I want your dad to hurt for what he's done to me, but the only person who was really hurt that night was Star. Look, I know you had nothing to do with that accident, and I should have said something the other night when I saw you at my mom's. But <laughs> probably weren't too happy seeing me there. If my mom wants to forgive you for sleeping with Kate, sorry, Connie, um, that's her business, you know, not mine. I'm not going to judge. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, but just so we're clear, if you hurt my mom that, again... Your mom gave me a second chance. I'm not going to screw that up. Good, because if you do, if you hurt my mom, I'm going to hurt you. Sounds fair to me. Okay. Deal? Deal. If you boys don't mind, I'd like to have a discussion with my daughter off camera. Actually, Miss Davis, I'm afraid that's not possible. If you recall, your daughter signed a contract granting us full access. Well, I'm still playing catch up. Christina, what are you doing? Starring in my own reality show. Prince Charming is exploiting my daughter. Okay, look, Mob He's Princess... He's following me around because he actually cares about my point of view. Exactly. Mob Princess is supposed to give an inside look into a famous crime family. As I said, man, Christina, you... you are misinformed. So now you're going to defend my dad's Yes, I am going to defend him. We are not here today because Sonny committed a crime. We are here because I did. Perhaps we should save this conversation to the cameras. I don't care about the cameras. Christina, you need to know the truth. I'm the one that shot out Anthony Zakar's tires last February. What? How is that even possible, Kate? We're pleading not guilty. Uh, no, actually, she just confessed. I just heard that. And like the sleazemonger you are, you'll mess with the footage and, and, and edit it so that it puts Kate okay. in the worst possible light on the internet, Ms. even though this is never going to see air. Miss Davis, first off, I'm not a sleazemonger, as we've already established. Second of all, this thing will never go on the internet because it really isn't going to make any sort of real money there. Mom, you agree to cooperate. No, Fine, Christine, I got this. Although I must admit I am slightly offended at your mother's assessment of my computer skills. If I really wanted to have Kate's confession go viral, I can handle that in about, I don't know, 10 minutes. I would advise you not to do that, Trey, because she has a right to her privacy. Okay, yeah, but I, I have full access, remember? You know what? Ms. Howard has not signed a release. Sonny, it's all right. I no, it's not. Denied. That's what I like to hear. So, all I need... Wait! The signature. Wait. What well, you just said. Shooting out the tires causing the accident. That was you. That's right. I am the one who... Sh who killed Star Manning's boyfriend. And their little girl. I 
I never thought that I would see this. Oh, well, we finally found something we could agree on. Star, you sounded amazing. Oh, you don't have to say that. Why shouldn't he? It's the truth. Of course you should say it. And we could finally give you a venue that's worthy of your talent. I'm flattered, but there's no way you renovated this place just so I could sing here. Ah, I needed to make some changes in my life for many reasons. And let's be honest, this place needed some renovating, which, by the way, you haven't told me what you think of the improvements. I love them. Are you kidding me? It looks awesome. I would want to come here, even if I wasn't singing. Yes. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I think the place is nice, but uh, I think the singer is definitely the main draw. <laughs> Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome. Any chance we can hear some more? No. First, I want to know the real reason you two were talking. It's no big deal. Uh, I was uh, apologizing to Johnny for something that he didn't do. The accident. I, I, yeah, I, uh, look, we were hoping to put it behind us and not talk about it again. No, it's okay. I understand what happened and why. So do I. I just recently found out that Kate was the one who shot out Anthony's tires. You did? Well, what are you doing still standing here? I would think you'd be on the phone with every newspaper in the country by now. Why, so I could hurt Sonny? No, so you could also clear your name. Kate's been through a lot, and I don't want to hurt her any more than I already have. Being very compassionate towards her. Uh, don't give me too much credit. Too late. Saying things like that, I know that I was right to put my faith in you. Uh, enough about me. I want to hear the playback of that song again. But it wasn't even a recording. It was just a sound check. Whatever you were doing sounded great. Johnny's right. You sounded amazing. Thank you. Mm. I mean, it, it does feel like everything is going right for the first time in months. Except for my new roommate. Trey? Yeah. What are you talking about? The guy seems perfect. Oh, I know. He only leaves gross, crusty dishes in the sink. And we got into a huge argument this morning because he swore that he was a neat freak. Uh, he's definitely some kind of freak. I, he makes me wish that I had moved in with my dad at his hotel. Not that I want my dad watching me 24-7, but seriously, I, I don't even care because there would be a maid service. That is true. I'm sorry. I am <laughs> ranting on and on, but I just can't stand Trey. Huh. Uh, what does that mean? Um, no, it's just something that Christina said the other night when we had dinner at your house. And what's that? She thinks that the way Trey is always trying to make you mad is, uh, his way of flirting with you. She knows we're not in second grade, right? Yeah, she, yeah still, she seems to be taking it pretty hard. Why would Christina care if Trey was flirting with me? Is Christina interested in Trey? She's not going to say anymore. Sonny, I, I, I want to do this. You need, you need to do this? I do. When your father went on trial, I wasn't aware of what I'd done. How could you forget causing an accident that, that killed two people? Because I have an illness, Christina. I have DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder. It's a medical condition for split personality. You're serious. God, this just keeps getting better and better. I, for a long time, I had no recollection of what I'd done. I still don't remember some things. Kate, Kate wasn't responsible for anything that happened. Why would the other personality shoot out Anthony's a car? To try and your father. She thought Sonny was dangerous, and she wanted him out of my, out of our life. Even though you love him. Even though she wants to hurt Sonny, I know it's difficult to understand. Actually, I think Christina might understand this a lot better than you think. He wants to keep it professional. Sounds like a good idea. Yeah, it doesn't mean Trey agrees. Wouldn't surprise me if he tries to make a play for Christina. But the Ma Princess show seems so important to Trey. Why would he risk things by getting involved with the main star of the show? It makes it easier to exploit her. But the way they were talking, I mean, it sounded like Christina and Trey came up with the concept of the show together. No, Trey found where she is vulnerable, and then he used it. I'm sorry, but your sister doesn't seem vulnerable to me. <laughs> but Christina and my dad are exactly alike. When my dad gets mad, he starts making ultimatums. And Christina, she overreacts and does something stupid to defy him. This whole reality show is just the latest, worst example. Okay. I still don't see how any of this is Trey's fault. Not that I'm defending him, trust me. Oh, Christina loves her family, and, and when she sees this whole thing as hurting them, especially her sisters, I, I think she's gonna back out. 
Oh, so Trey is going to pretend like he's interested in Christina in order to keep her with the project. Pretty much, yeah. Wow. Well, I hope that Christina isn't really interested in Trey because if she were, I would feel sorry for her. I think he's a jerk. It's good. I think that's enough for now. Uh, Miss Howard, this is a powerful story that needs to be told, but I, I can't put any of it on the air unless you sign this release. I just... Oh, we gotta get in there for that arraignment. This is gonna be the high point of the episode. I don't think this should go in the air. Yeah, but maybe you can talk to your parents, all right? We can get a wrap-up interview. Did you it's see not how the upset arraignment. Kate was? I don't want to make this worse for her. No, 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 it's fine. We can totally spin it and make it sympathetic. Better idea? We leave Kate out of the show completely. Okay. I thought you shared my vision. I thought we were in this together. We are, I do. Then why do you keep sabotaging us at every turn? What are you talking about? First, you wouldn't allow the cameras in the hospital with Sam. Then you sent them away from the funeral. My sister was burying her baby. Sam was in enough pain. She did not need to go through it in front of cameras. Yep, yeah, we had a deal. You gave us full access, okay? I'm tired of making exceptions. Exceptions. I respected your wishes when it came to your family, but Kate Howard? is a celebrity. And my dad's girlfriend. He cares about her and so do I. She's my family too. Yeah, what about Star's family? You thought about what they might be going through? Love the mix. Really highlights the vocal. Nice job. Voice like that, no reason to hide it. Never know what she's been through. I heard she lost her daughter and boyfriend in a car accident. Yeah. Whenever they find who's responsible, they should hang them. Why is it good if I think Trey's a jerk? Uh, I don't know. I, just, I, don't, I don't want him to use you the way that he's been using Christina. Oh, well, I'm not going to sign up for a reality show. I would never do that. You don't have to worry about it. Well, Trey seems pretty resourceful. I'm pretty sure he can find a way to exploit you. And you don't think I can handle myself? No, it's not that. I just, look, you've been through a lot. I mean, you should focus on your music career, not some jerk with an agenda. You're right, and hopefully he won't pay his half of the rent so I can force him out. <laughs> okay, look, if you need any help with that, please let me know because there's nothing I'd like more than to throw Trey out on the streets. Oh, I'm sure your sister would just love that. Probably, but um, I'm not worried about Christina. You are a different story. Look, just please, if, 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 if you want Trey out, let me know. Okay, don't get too excited about it. I'm sure he's going to pay his half of the rent just so that he could stick around and annoy me. Yeah, well, you deserve somebody better than that. Someone who treats you right and with respect, not somebody who's out to make money off your grief. You deserve somebody who actually cares about you. You know what I, I thought when I heard you sing? Something good, I hope. You looked happy. That's what I want for you, Star. And I, uh, I, I loved seeing you smile. You looked really beautiful. Oh, this is the perfect setup, boss. What the hell is this? No. Ah, good. You no. guys are here. Oh my god, we just came from the courthouse. Ooh. Christina, can you please get this jerk and this camera out of here? Just listen, hey. Michael. This is important. Yeah, you guys seriously have to hear what Kate Howard's saying. Oh my god, this stuff is crazy. Wait a minute, what happened? What's Kate saying? 